my name is Molly Bailey. I'm the scenic designer for NCT's production of Dog Explosion. I'm working um, with the new director that I've never worked with before, Francisco Menendez. He's the, the chair of the film department at UNLV. And also, the play was written by Sean Clark, who's also a faculty member in the film department as well. He does work with the screenwriting and the graduate screenwriting department. I, I was motivated to work with him. I wasn't originally assigned this, this play to, to be the scenic designer for. I kind of asked for it. I, I'm really motivated to work on, in film and television, so I wanted to work with film and television directors and writers to get more experience in that field. Uh, I also wanted to, it was very interesting to work with someone that normally works in the medium of film and how they communicate design, um, design ideas to me and how I'm going to communicate with them uh, in, a complete, in a realm that they haven't worked in maybe in a couple of years or they're not used to working on a daily basis. So I thought that was very interesting. I was really excited to see what his take would be on um, different ideas for seating arrangements different ideas for blocking, uh, if they were, um, you know, trying not to compare them to movie shots or anything like that. But I was really curious to see what kind of concoction we were all going to come up with when you have these different elements. Myself, a second year grad student, the writer that has written pl both plays and for TVs, and then a scenic, um, and then a director that mainly directs film, and has, but has a background in theater. So I thought that was a really interesting combination of people and I really wanted to be involved in that, even though it was a lot of extra work for all of us because it's the first show of the semester, I'm trying to bring something quality um, as in interesting and fill the needs of the play uh, on a lower budget. I started meeting with the director, um, Francisco Menendez, and then I also had a brief, brief, meeting, brief meeting with Sean Clark. Um, we watched two movies for research. We watched Mud, um, that came out this year, and then we also watched Winter's Bone. And those were, um, one was set in Arkansas, the other was set in, I feel like they're both set in Arkansas, but it's very similar landscape to Missouri, where this play takes place. We also looked at a lot of different um, ways houses are deconstructed, and also to farm, older farmhouses in Missouri. The, the family is, is very, this is a very old farmhouse, they say they haven't had a new car since the 60s. So the house is probably, you know, built in the teens or 20s and it's been in the family for several generations. Um, there was a lot of different problems, creative problems to solve as being a whole in the floor, where the whole idea that the writer communicated to me and the director as well, that this is a nuclear family and this is their entrance to their home and they're um, representing the conflict they have with each other, navigating this hole every time they enter and exit. And I think that's very interesting. Also giving the actors, along with the, myself and the director, giving the actors a space where they just feel closed in and they feel like they either need to, they either going to be trapped here or they either need to flow, flow, flow the coop, you know. They, um, they need to feel like they're trapped so they can end up picking on each other like they are. They're three, you know, two sibling, three siblings, two sisters and a brother, and they need to feel like they're on top of each other and that they can never, you know, they can, that they're, they're always getting each other's way and they're preventing each other from living their dreams, especially the main character, Naomi. Um, I wanted um, to go with a cool palette. Um, I feel like that everything is drab, everything's lost its sparkle. These characters have lost their sparkle. They've been taking care of their, their aged and ill mother for years now and it's, it's been draining on their whole family. So this is, this is just some, this is, it's a kind of a period of decay for them. It's the whole thing is decaying, they've lost kind of what makes them who they are, especially the main character Naomi. So that very much influenced my design, um, as well as the, the fact that the a large a technical issue that um, my technical director, Tom Egan, has been awesome in helping uh, solve is the, the roof collapses. So there, there's a lot that goes into this play and a, and a small budget in a space that my, I've never worked in, in the black box. So it's been very interesting.